Hi, and welcome to the first video in lesson two, hardware. We're gonna have a lot of fun in this series of lessons. Of all of the lessons we're gonna have together, this is probably the geekiest. I am really, this is fun for me, okay? We're gonna talk about the hardware of the computer. Now keep in mind, this is geared for an introduction or BCIS course. So all the hardware, we could go into a lot more detail. When I used to teach this to the Bureau, we would spend about a week going over each of these pieces of hardware into more depth, how they worked, a little bit more detail than what we need for our purposes. My primary goal in this series of lessons, as far as the hardware goes, is to get it where you can speak about this as an educated consumer. I also have a couple of little labs that you can do at home, which should be pretty fun, and more importantly, could save you some money if you have this problem. You can go get it, do it yourself, as opposed to getting it repaired. So, lesson two, hardware. As we talked about in the previous series of videos in lesson one, computers basically have two components. We have the hardware component, which is the pieces you can touch, the keyboard, the hard drive, the things that you can kick, okay? And then we also have the software. The software are things like your operating system, for example, Microsoft Windows, your Mac OS, your Linux. You can also have applications. For example, I'm using PowerPoint right now. I'm using Camtasia. These are different software programs that I'm able to do using the computer's hardware, et cetera, et cetera. So they kind of merge together. So general components of a computer are the hardware and the software. Breaking down the parts of the hardware. So we have, again, two big components of a computer, the hardware and the software. Looking at the hardware, we can break hardware down into several different categories. These are general categories that they can belong to. So for example, the very first one is processing. Parts that you might find within the processing category are things like your central processing unit, your CPU, your video processing unit, your GPU, as well as your motherboard. The next category would be storage. This is stuff that holds information. Things within this category could be your hard drive, your random access memory, otherwise known as RAM, your video memory, flash drives, CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays. Those hold content, those hold information. The third category is input. Input devices, getting information into the computer. Things here you might find would be like your keyboard, your mouse, gamepad, scanners, things along those lines. And the fourth category is your output. Computers would be pretty useless if we couldn't get information out of them. So the output is getting information out of our computer. For example, a video card, a monitor, printer, audio, you're listening to me, you're hearing noise. So processing, storage, input, and output are our four primary categories of hardware. Now there's some category, there's some hardware that fits into kind of a miscellaneous grouping. For example, the computer case. It holds the parts of the computer. It's technically hardware, but it's really not part of any of these four things. Another thing might be something like a power supply. A power supply is required for all four of these items to work, but it really doesn't do a specific item as far as any of these categories go. But our big four categories, once again, are processing, storage, input, and output. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at that first category, processing.